Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to try to romance Ulrika. We're also going to... Um, explore the border watch outpost see if we missed anything there I won't explore it too long I want to come up here I've been watching some of the uh, videos back and I know that off screen I had a cut scene or off screen off recording whatever you want to call it I had a cut scene in this house I talked about it I think in my second video Second or third video, somewhere in there. Uh, so I want to come over here, see if there's anything to do over there. And then if we don't find anything else to do, we will go back over to Vernworth, continue the main quest, and I will explore a lot of this stuff off screen. Because I want to get all of this explored if I can. Um, including the nameless village, which I called the nameless city in the last video. That was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll end up exploring a bunch of this stuff off, um, off recording. For now, let's go meet up with Ulrika. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. And I was, by the way, I was looking at... Ulrika, where's she at? And the use. And this is a wild, by the way, that I looked at Ulrika. The only reason why I have this notion that we can romance is because. Where the hell is she? Ah, here we go. It says likes adorable items and beautiful items. So I'm guessing that if we give her beautiful items or adorable items that we can romance her. And it has this for every NPC, including uh, Wilhelmina. That's her name, Wilhelmina. I don't remember what I called her in the last video. Let's go over to the tavern here, the inn. It's not really a tavern. Here at the inn, we also offer changes. Of I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. We're going to withdraw... She likes beautiful items. So what do we have that's beautiful? I don't know how you determine what's beautiful or not. Maybe the these are beautiful. A uh, bunch of flowers. Let's let's try flowers. We got eight of them. But enough about me. Always a pleasure. This might contain useful information. Let's have a look then. Where's Ulrika? Is that her walking? I think it is. We're saved. I haven't the words to thank you. I doubt we would have pulled through if not for you. We're saved. Can I not give her a gift? Where are you going? We're saved. I'm guessing I can't give her a gift. What the hell? Let's try resting and then see if we can't give her a gift after resting. 
Here at the inn, we all, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. We must rest. Look. Ooh, moon glow. We will give that. I fought many battles in my journey, but the thrill of felling a colossal foe. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Okay, let's make sure our flowers aren't dead. I don't know if these wilt or not, okay. but come, we've let's much hope to they don't. With. Feeling rested, I trust. Oh, Rika, where you at? Trying to romance you. I think I see her over here. Hey, lady. We're saved. Wow, that was just a bunch of just bullshittery. Well, that was a big letdown. I haven't the words to thank you. I doubt we would have pulled through if not. A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see. We're. Okay. Well, I guess we can't romance Ulrika. That's fucking lame. Here at the inn, we also offer. Check I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. All that for nothing. Might as well get rid of some of this stuff. Ooh. We'll store that for now. Sorry, I don't mean to sound salty about that, but I was really hoping that we could romance Ulrika. That's why I came back here. Like, the only... Well... But enough of that, it's not the mate. only reason. I, I wanted to check to see if anybody else needed help. Um, doesn't seem like it. Hmm? I have things to do if you don't. Sure, whatever, bud. I guess what we'll do then is we are eh, close to both of these. So we'll go over here first. And then we'll go over here second. We can pick up some moon glow on the way too. Hmm. Wasn't sure we'd survive that, but ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. It's certainly tiring. Once I get this vocation up to level 9, we're going to switch over to the assassin. Or thief, not assassin. I'm sorry. The A thief well class. A well-organized pack is my specialty. That is so annoying. I wish they just would just take that out. To be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Or maybe only let it happen the first uh, couple my times. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? No, I'm not worried about it. I'll explore later. Obviously, I didn't explore everything over here. Um, but like I was saying, I wish that pawns that are walking Brothers, along master. the road uh, no would only stop you like maybe once or twice to show people the mechanics of being able to hire them as they're walking. Instead of every single time you're... Walking by a pawn, they want you to hire them. It just kind of takes you out of that immersion or the focus of what you were doing prior. The paths to victory are myriad indeed, 
That strategy never would have occurred to me. Truly? Let's go pick up some moon glow real quick. Lucy, Whatever can you heal me? Need, I shall gladly oblige. You are Thank in need you, ma'am. Allow me. Wait a moment. Oh, <laughs> trying to pick everything up with X. Wow, that was not a lot. Hey, this is a guy, I think it was like my second or third video. I seen this guy over here. We came over here. We checked. What is it? Got a question about my training regime. I was in the middle of talking, but I, we came over here and we checked and nobody was here. I don't know. Maybe it's just being a little buggy. Suppose that was an unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Open to enlist, then? No. A pity. I'd hoped to add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist of late, and I'm hungry for recruits. Many keep their distance on account of the instructor being a bistron. A very Vermundian of them. At the very least, I'd like to provide some decent training to the soldiers we have now. Easier said than done, especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. Tisn't like to beast their morale having rusted steel to train with. What I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation to grow. That'd light a fire under them, I reckon. Mayhap you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but what else am I to do? Sure, I'll help you. Much appreciated. We'd welcome what you can spare. Sir Beren's request is quite understandable. Weaponry and motivated soldiers are the pillars of any military. Sir Beren seeks a motivated soldier to inspire the other recruits. Do we not know of such a person? <laughs> no. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. Right now, I don't Aguilar care. Is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I want to get over to this house. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we have the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Right you are. No, oh, goblins. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Samus is putting in some work. The hell? Oh, where did you come from? Hey, ladies. Take out this guy. <laughs> Rolling up behind me like that. I have a feeling we're going to have another Cyclops over here. Nope. Just some goblins. That one's fast. Slow down so I can well shoot you, bud. Arisen. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Outstanding. Oh my god. I can't see shit when the lightning goes off. It just blinds me. Chopper horn. Another chopper horn. Another Dare chopper horn. We 
trust our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. That scared me. I didn't know what was going on. Nobody's here. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Hey, where's your parents? What is it? If you're looking for Gran, she's out. Tis dreadful dull round here. How long do they mean to shut me away? All I want is to study magic, but Gran refuses to teach me. If only I had a grimoire or two, then I could study on my own. If you find any grimoires, would you bring them to me? You needn't seek them out. Any you happen to find will do. Still, I'll write up a list of the tomes I'd most like, so you know which ones to keep an eye out for. Let's see. Um, there. All done. Mayhap I was a little over-eager, but you needn't bring them all. Just two or three would be swell. Though I would be thrilled to have the lot. <laughs> oh, and... Gran is like to confiscate the grimoires should she espy them. Pray hand them to me when she's not at home. So, we are to scour for the grimoires on Miss Trisha's list. Okay, so that makes sense. I was watching my video the other day. I think it was my second video. Um, and I was talking about it. She, when I walked in here, there was a cutscene about how she just wanted to learn a little bit of magic and that her her dad and I thought it was her mom but I guess it's her grandmother wouldn't let her so okay that makes sense she's kind of going behind their back to learn magic I don't know if it's a good thing that we give her magic to play with it doesn't seem like she's going to use it for good or she's going to be pretty reckless with it one of the two I think we can come up here and slide down don't know oh my god what is me thinks we can move this boulder if we work together shall we set it rolling here we go again Fight. oh shit arms. he's got somebody in his hands I grant you fire blade Use it well. don't throw him what the hell What did they cast? That is crazy. Whatever they cast is crazy looking. It seems we have a great though of both. Might we not use their range to our advantage? Understood. Come on, Samus. Take the Cyclops down. Nice. Did I get the killing blow? That's pretty awesome. Trisha's been rather restless of late. More so than usual, I mean. You wouldn't happen to know what's gotten into her, would you, sir? Not at all. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we have the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Okay, we can slide down right here, I think. Holy fuckamoly. That was scary. I thought I was about to die. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? No, I'm okay. Like I said, I, information pertinent to this I will task. explore this stuff Consider hiring I'm not a recording. Of such matters. Uh... 
Uh, I need some more flowers. I want to uh, make more bundles of flowers. Goodness. We're higher up than I thought. Take care not to fall. Careful now. Can you guys shut up for a second? Jeez. Uh, by the way, for those that... Uh, how? Not get a moment, can I? Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the element. Okay, like I was saying, for those of you that may Let's be master, wondering how to make a uh, bunch of flowers, you, you just take two different flowers, whether it's like moon glow or whatever, and you combine them together and you'll get a uh, bundle of flowers or a bunch of flowers. Okay, so we come up this way and then we'll be at the border watch outpost. But before, what do we need to do for this quest? Did she give us an actual paper to look at the grimoires that she wants? Proper tools. Uh, let's go over here to the border watch, see if anybody needs our help. And then maybe buy some stuff for him, some weapons. I don't know if it matters. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Are you bad? I don't want to talk to you if you're a pawn. <laughs> you got to like go around them just so they don't try to stop and talk to you. They seem desperate. Please arisen, please. Recruit me. <laughs> uh, they're fighting goblins. I really don't care about those goblins, guys. I really don't. Um, there was a guy that we helped before gather some ingredients. They seem very mundane, NPC-ish. Aye, is there all you require, sir? I mean, everybody's an NPC, but I, I, I'm just saying, like, no quests. Fancy Agenda? I find goods for sale. Fancy yes. Agenda? I find. Um. Damn, this guy needs weapons. Uh. Hopefully, I don't waste money on this. Uh, how I'm many does he need? Such Sorry, I, I just, I don't want to. It just, it doesn't even tell me Not how many. Going. That's just as well. Well met. Um, I don't want to buy one because he said weapons. So let's buy five. Oh, man, that's a lot of money. Much obliged. God, it, I better get a good reward for that. I don't see anybody else. Do you got anything to say? My head will roll if I do. I have a pressing duty to which I must attend. No. There's a ladder here. Ah. Oh. Excellent find. Anybody over here? I think this is the training grounds over here. Holy shit. How did you get all the way over here before me, dude? Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Three. Of course. <laughs> Good of you to go to the trouble. Many thanks. We'll gladly make use of what you've given us. 
I wonder if I can buy like bows or like maybe even a staff if that'll work too. Maybe my next playthrough I'll try that where I uh, give him like bows or staffs. Of course, I don't even get the same amount of money back. That's so <laughs> annoying. It's such a video game thing to do. Much obliged. And what else did he need? Let's go talk to him real quick. Those weapons you gave us have made all the difference. My training regime is proceeding much more smoothly now. Yeah, the recruits still lack for motivation. They need someone to act as an example. A dedicated soldier who's keen to improve. Do you know of anyone like that, per chance? I know one of my pawns said that they did. Let's try... Damn it. Let's try taking it off and then putting it back on. See if the pawn will talk to us. Sir Baron seeks a motivated soldier to inspire the other recruits. Do we not know of such a person? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. Sure. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Where are you taking me? You're like hauling ass. I cannot keep up, lady. Over here. Pray, follow me. Holy moly, where are you taking me? Strike now. Stop. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. I yes, that's what I'm talking about, Samus. I grant you roaring flame. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Okay, Samus, take us to our destination. Um... Is she taking us all the way to Vernworth? I think she is. Um, I know I say that a lot. <laughs> I'm always like, um, um, um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Man, I really don't want to use a fairy stone. So we I'll just cut the video and we'll pick back up when I'm I at Vernworth because I only have yeah, two fairy stones and they're kind of expensive. I went to go look at how much fairy stones cost at the apothecary. 10,000 gold. So a ridiculous amount of money. All right, everybody. I will see you all in just a second at Vernworth. All righty, everyone. We made it back to Vernworth with a ton of huge monsters <laughs> taken down. Also, I leveled up my vocation to level nine, along with um, Lucy as well. She's got max vocation for mage. We will uh, check out the new skills and everything off recording. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. And she was leading me to uh, Vernworth. But now, because I stopped for a little bit, she doesn't want to lead me there. Okay. 
Let's try this again. Let's do spellbound. Sir Baron seeks a motivated soldier to inspire the other recruits. Do we not know of such a person? I if don't. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We have arrived. Say, you've got a decent arm on you. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir, teach me to fight like you do. I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? I won't train you, but I know somebody that will. His name is Baron. Why don't you go see him? And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. Let's go back to Baron. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Let's go put some stuff away in our house. That is right over here. And then we'll take an ox cart over to Melv. And then from Melv. Oh, it's Ulrika. And we got another fairy stone. Awesome. That means after we... Fucking damn it. <laughs> damn flowers. Um, but that means after we do this stuff at Melv, we can use, oh, I, I killed a Minotaur, I killed a Griffin on the way here, and I did fight a, um, Ogre, not a Cyclops, an actual Ogre, um, but he fell off a cliff, so I wasn't able to loot him, unfortunately. I guess we'll sell... Oh, I didn't even notice I forgot that. Uh, I guess we'll sell this stuff. Or not this. Um, the, the dried flowers. And then we'll take a... Uh, whatever it is. An ox cart. Back over to Melv. From Melv, we will go over to the outpost or wherever Baron is. How might I be of service? Are you in the market for something in particular? Are there any better bows? Doesn't seem like it. Always a pleasure. No purchase. Hail friend, how fare you? Tis not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. It would be best I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor. The village of my people. Cool. Uh, that was an unexpected Very well. I shall return. quest event. I thought we were done with that, but I guess not. 
Wait for the ox cart. Always waiting around for me to sleep. This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Hopefully we won't run into any enemies considering I fought my whole way here. See everybody in Melv. Made it to Melv. Finally. Let's go talk to Ulrika real fast. Where is she? There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Dude, you guys are blocking the entrance here, man. There, since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties before being allowed to flee. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom, with Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason. The village and Tyre will answer for this. What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. Well, that's not good. You came to see me. Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Melv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if naught else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Now, what are we doing for Ulrika? That, that, or Ulrika, whatever. Um... Can we talk to her again? I didn't know that old... Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. 
Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. Geez, a lot of stuff is happening really fast. <laughs> I'm like, where's Ulrika? Boom, go outside. <laughs> Talking about her being gone. Uh, Alright, let's see where this quest goes. You've heard she fled the village, I. Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge, protecting Vermont against the dragon. But as for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. Find Ulrika. Where where would she go? Methinks I have an idea of where Sir Ulrika might have gone, Master. Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. Awesome, Lucy. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Don't know how you know. But it's awesome nonetheless. Master, do bear in mind that a fairy stone can shorten a long day's journey into a single instant. I quite agree. Oh, don't tell me we're going on, then. Here we go again. To Vernworth again. Ouch. Certainly arisen. How might I be of aid? Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Not like this. That was superb, Arisen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Lucy lead me to where Ulrika is. And then we will pick back up as soon as we find her. Oh, so I'll see everybody I'll in that. just a moment. We might find a use. Alrighty. We are back and she has taken us to Harve Village, I think it is. Yes, Harve Village. Man, that was a super long trek to go. It, it, it took me a while. But I didn't know where she was taking me, so I didn't want to take an ox cart or a fairy stone or anything like that. Um, but if I would have known that it was Har Village, I could have just taken a fairy stone over here to the port crystal. But now that we know now, maybe in a second playthrough, we'll be able to come over here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and finish up this quest. Hopefully finish up this quest. Follow me if you would. No! I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? I've held my tongue till now, but no longer. You would leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sacrificing that poor soul amounts to cutting off your own arm. As Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas? <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider. Be gone from our village. I, Jonas, I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will and do what must needs be done. All those with the strength and courage to do the same 
Join me at Stormwind Cave. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be evade. And she is such a badass. I love Ulrika. Her character is just super awesome. Let's turn our lantern on. I think after this quest, in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. We're gonna end Narrow the uh, episode. Be on your guard. Understood. Tis you. Have you come to join us in our rescue effort? My thanks. We shan't fail with you by our side. The captured villager ought to be within. Let us hurry. We will likely find our charge in the cave's depths. Shall we press on? We shall. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. Man, Lucy, you've We're been everywhere, huh? Sir. Much obliged. Whoever rented you out really did a good job at doing some of these quests. That's awesome. I have an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell everybody, I went ahead and I changed my vocation since I went through Vernworth. I was like, well, since I'm here, I might as well change my vocation. And I changed it to the Thief class, which I am freaking loving. We already got our first um, vocation level into... Uh, Truly thief. Even though, like, we automatically get one point into it, so we're level two in Thief now. I don't know, I just feel more powerful as a Thief than I did as an Archer. As an Archer, I just felt like I was getting my ass kicked all the time. And you guys are just running ahead, aren't you? Wasted no time. Oh, and I have a dodge. I have a dodge. I love that. There's our third um, point into our vocation. I will not be swayed. Go this I'm way. afraid I don't have any knowledge about that quest as yet. If you require guidance, you must hire a pawn who does. I don't think I'm going the right way. Whoa. Yeah, this oh, leads back to the well entrance. Spotted. Another fairy That's stone, impressive. awesome. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. Come on, guys. Oh, which way now? I grant you roaring flames. Ugh, can't frickin' see. I don't even know where we're going. I lack information pertinent to this task. Lucy's like, I know this where we're going, the and then like stays back. Oh shit, somebody's getting hurt. 
have a feeling that's the person we're supposed to be saving. just a swarm of them but see I can dodge and get out of the way I love that I absolutely love that I'm I'm saved thank you thank heavens you yet live let us be on our way. The other villagers shall be thrilled to see you in good health, I'm sure. Yes, let's uh, heal everybody. Let me get that. I guess we can take that other path if they'll follow that is I don't know if they'll hop down from here I guess we'll just have to see charge ahead maybe to rush headlong into danger let us take care to move as one well, oh it was but a trick of the light Come on, everybody. Let's go. See, I don't know if they'll hop down here, though. What's up there? I can't make much out from here. Okay, yeah. I just have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. Might I be of assistance? Cool. So they can hop down that way. That makes things a little easier. Man, everybody's so slow. Come on. I don't want to leave them behind because my luck, they'll break the quest or something. I don't know. I just don't want any mishaps. You have returned triumphant, I see. Oh, what a relief. Indeed. And now that the task is done... I shall leave Har Village, ne'er to return. In exchange, I beg you to forgive those who joined me. I incited them, and so I alone ought to suffer the penalty of exile. Yet I will go forth from this village with my head held high, glad in the knowledge that no lives were sacrificed under my watch. There'll be no need for that, Ulrika. In light of your good deeds, all shall be forgiven. After you left, we who remain discuss that which our village treasures most. It is as you yourself have said. A village is nothing without its people. We ought to have learned that lesson well after the dragon chased us from our homes. Yet t'was your heartfelt plea that reminded us of it. Ulrika, would you honor our village by becoming its chief? Tis our hope that you will guide us and that your kindness and wisdom shall unite our people, human and bestrun both. Aye. If that is what is needed, I shall rise to the call of duty. I vow to protect this village and its people with my life. I cannot have imagined a better outcome. The village will surely prosper in Sir Ulrika's care. I agree. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Here we are. To think I would meet you here. Or were you searching for me? I cannot return to Mao. 
Not till my name is cleared. Not till the dragon is found. This village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and investigate its whereabouts. Pray, give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them. Oh. Sorry, I did not mean to uh, skip that dialogue. Sir Leonard will be very glad to know that Sir Ulrika is safe. We ought to bring him these tidings post haste. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Are you guys done talking? <laughs> okay. Now that they're done talking, um, I want to start by telling everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.